women do not date out of their race enough and god please release my sisters from the shackle of only dating black men i feel like it's time for us to explore our options it's way more of life to see way more experience to have experiences to have hey guys welcome back to my channel so as per the title guys you can see once again in today's video yes we're gonna continue to talk about the whole situation that is currently going on between holly bailey and her baby daddy ddg because don't you guys think it's weird that ever since this male was the one that came out here and he made the post wanting us to know that he and holly was no longer in a relationship i think it is quite interesting how him as well as holly even though i do have to say that if you guys have noticed is Holly has been very quiet because I think that overall she is indeed a very very private person but unfortunately for her she got in a relationship with someone who literally has been clout chasing off of her name ever since they got in a relationship so regardless of Holly trying to conceal her private life her whole relationship her entire pregnancy we see that this male because we know that this male he makes his living off of social media this is why he's consistently out here running his mouth because have you guys noticed that ever since they broke up this male has been continuously out here running his mouth and actually regardless of him continuously coming out here saying y'all need to mind your business this and that we're not gonna mind our business because you're the one that keeps running your filthy mouth and every time you run your mouth continue to go on these rant guess what um and everybody else we're gonna continue to talk about it so just in case you guys didn't necessarily know he's currently on this breakout relationship tour because you guys know last week i spoke a lot about him and it is because once again he continued to be running his mouth out here but nonetheless just recently you guys know that shonda she is slowly becoming one of my favorite tiktoker so basically she were talking about the fact that ddg he sat down once again on a podcast and he were talking about how being in a relationship is like a part-time job so just in case you guys haven't necessarily seen this clip with shonda reacting to what ddg had to say check this out and then we will come back with more if I can tell myself something at age 22, I would tell myself not to get in a relationship because it's like having a part-time job. Right? Okay. Then you really have to apply a lot of time and effort. Like, you might be doing videos all day and your girl get an attitude when you're doing your last yeah. video. Like, when you gonna take me out to eat? Yeah. And you might get mad get in the argument. You might not yeah. want to film the next day. Might not want to stream the next day. Might not want to go to the studio the next day. It doesn't matter if you're 22, 32, or 42. You can't expect a relationship to be something that you do part-time. People need you more than just nights and weekends, okay? To be a good partner, you have to show up for that other person every single day. Be willing to listen every single day. Whatever they need, you have to be willing to do that full-time. We all have dreams and aspirations, but if we love our partner and we want our relationship to work, we make time for those people. She's not asking for too much from you to ask you to turn off the game every now and then and spend some time with her or to take her out every now and then. But the problem is some of you are in relationships, but you don't really like her. The issue is that you want her to make you a priority while you're making her an option. You want her to put you and your career above everything else because that's what you're doing. People like him don't need to be with somebody who has their own dreams and their own goals. They need to be with somebody whose only goal in life is to make sure that you reach yours. So there you have it once again, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like the reason why this man is saying that being in a relationship is like a part-time job is simply because he didn't necessarily like Holly. You guys can call it whatever you want, but I absolutely believe just like Shonda say that he doesn't really like her. He never really liked her. To be honest, guys, I'm convinced that this man had a plan all along. That's why he got with someone like Holly and impregnated her so quickly because this beautiful woman that you're viewing hair on your screen this is his first girlfriend that i was aware of her name is kennedy they basically started very young on youtube and now as you guys can see they're grown people they're about to be 30 in a few years so naturally i have been telling you guys from the longest 
that highly wasn't necessarily this man's first choice, this man's first option. But unfortunately, these males, they will always prey upon these successful, young, beautiful black women, all because they know that for the most part, the vast majority of black women, they are indeed obsessed with black male, which I will never, ever really understand why, because I have been asking you guys for the longest, what is so appealing about these male? Because in my opinion, they're not nice. They don't really like themselves. That means naturally they can't necessarily like you. And we already know that they don't really like kids because I think that this is also a prime example. This male was with Holly and even though he impregnated her quickly, we already know that these male would get in relationship with regardless of the group of women, they would impregnate them. Within their third trimester, we know that according to statistics, these male will always abandon these women right so kennedy this is kennedy that you're viewing here on your screen and like i said this is the first girlfriend that i knew him to have because like i have mentioned previously i wasn't really familiar with who this male was after he got in a relationship with someone such high profile as Halle Bailey, I personally have been discovering a lot more about him. So this woman that you're viewing here on your screen, this is the woman that he claimed that he wanted to marry, but these male, because they can't really sustain any type of healthy relationship with anyone, regardless if in this situation, as you guys can see, regardless if it's a black woman like Halle Bailey, who mind you wasn't his first option regardless of it being someone their preference like kennedy that you're viewing here on your screen we know that they can't really sustain a healthy relationship with anyone so nonetheless this male decided that he was going to make Halle bailey a baby mama but this woman that you're viewing here on your screen who is indeed his true preference kennedy he was planning on marrying her and i was so deeply in love with you that i forgot about me i forgot about kennedy i would not continue to lose myself in caring so much about a person when they don't even see your appreciation for them and i was saving it for a special day or a a day where um the, uh, i was saving this for the right moment to give it to her um but um, just to show her how serious I was in this relationship. But um, straight, but. And we also know that after that relationship came to a demise with Kennedy, he then went on to date an industry pass around which is none other than Ruby Rose. You guys notice something here? These women are his true type. Holly was just the naive black woman that could open door for him that his preference couldn't necessarily do because look on this screen here, guys. Let's just be honest, guys. Regardless of Holly being very well aware of who this male was, you will never see Holly out here posting these type of provocative photos like Ruby Rose hair on your screen. And hey, to each its own, everyone we're living in a free world allegedly right we can do as we please but like i said this male these hair are his true preference like i have told you guys over and over the only reason why these type of male they will get in relationship with people like us aka black woman is because all along these male have a plan and quite frankly guys the reason why i continue to come on here and talk about this is because i'm truly tired of seeing in my day-to-day -day life as well as on the big screen within this whole celebrity world i'm just so tired of seeing black women willy-nilly out here giving these male access to them giving these male access to their womb without any true type of commitment because like i said had this male really wanted to marry holly i'm pretty sure she would have wanted to because unfortunately holly seemed like she was stigmatized by this male because it is quite interesting to me how prior to him impregnating kennedy he were talking about proposing to her but holly he went on and like i said yes this male regardless of him coming out here and saying that he was very insecure he was very jealous he didn't like the fact that she was out here basically doing her job going around promoting doing the promotion that she had to do in order to promote whatever stuff that she was working on but because this male he's not really in this field 
I feel like he's not really used to that type of life. And like I have mentioned previously, Holly was able to open up door for this man that he know that he would have never gotten with his true preference. And this is why I feel like he decided that he was going to go out here and prey upon her. And even though I do think that Holly, apart from being very successful, very beautiful, I do think that she's very book smart, but I think that she lacked the street smart because there's no way that none of his two preference would allow this male here to impregnate them. But DDG, FYI, regardless of you coming out here saying we should mind our business, no one should be concerned about what's going on with you and Holly Bailey, as long as you continue to be on this breakup tour, I want to let you know that me as well as everybody else, we're going to continue to report it. So if you don't want us to report it, then stop running your filthy mouth. And like I said, I feel like this is a cautionary tale. And this is precisely why I'm going to continue to make these type of video. I do these type of video for my younger black girls and younger black women. I do also have to say, please black woman. Don't be Holly Bailey in this situation. Quite frankly, I think it's best to be Kennedy because we know he was in love with Kennedy. She didn't allow herself to get impregnated by him. And at the end of the day, I truly feel like it's best to be Kennedy within the whole situation because he wanted to marry her. He went on and he made Holly Bailey a single baby mama. But nonetheless, guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole situation. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about DDG ever since since he was the one that made that post coming out here talking about he and Holly, they decided that they were going to go their separate ways ever since he has been running his filthy mouth and also him being upset at the fact that us, we continue to report on it. Like I said, I can only speak for myself, but as long as you continue to run your mouth, guess what? I'm going to continue to talk about the situation also. Once again, guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole predicament. I would love to hear about what you guys have to say about DDG wanting to marry his true preference, Kennedy, but coming out here deciding that he was going to baby trap Holly, he was going to make her a baby mama, had zero intention of him wanting to marry her. Nonetheless, whatever your thoughts and opinions are, please get in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Black women, it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed. We have lied and gassed black men up for centuries, letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms, letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked. And now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions. Instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves, but the community that they help create, we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it.